All right, so Trails into Revere, a game that has an identity crisis, in my mind anyways. Let's talk about it. All right, so one thing that I did want to answer the question that I saw a lot on online, do you have to play all the other games in the series to play this game? And I would, I would say yes. Now, that is a lot of commitment, especially seeing how some of the games are like 80-ish hours. I understand that. I did it. I wanted to go over the synopsis of the story, basically. So Crossbell is finally going to become independent. So they're going to become independent from Liberal, Erebonia, and Calvert, which they were basically, they're called Crossbell, basically, because they're kind of all in, in the middle of all these countries. And they have been basically run, controlled by these other con uh, con countries, right? So they're finally becoming independent of that. At the, at, in the, at the ceremony when this is going to happen, when they're becoming independent, that is when everything goes awry and that is when the story takes place. I don't want to give any spoilers, so I'm going to leave it at that. But at voice acting. Now, while this game with all the Trail series, all, the voice acting is limited. It is kind of jarring when that happens. They'll be in the middle of talking and all of a sudden it just goes to straight text and you're like, did something just break? No, they just didn't pay the actors or whatever enough money. And that is life. So, but the voice acting is good. Okay, the voice acting isn't the greatest. Some voice actors are definitely better than others. And I have not actually played the Japanese voice acting, which is very rare. Most of the time when something is Japanese voice acted, I actually will only play it that way. The model characters are absolutely phenomenal. Really good. Combat system is turn-based and absolutely phenomenal. I love all the chains that you can create. I love that you can connect yourself with different characters and, and create. There is so many, so much thought that went into this combat system it is one of the best combat systems i've ever played in any game a japanese role-playing game or western role-playing game ever very customizable in every fast however i feel like other games were a lot more customizable especially cold steel than this one so you know it it, 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 it trailed off a little and i actually think you gotta buy a lot of it so that's just something i don't do Maps are very well realized. I, I, I have played all of these maps back in their original format. I don't know. It was a, it was a much different style in Azure and uh, in Zero in, in the, the sky. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what kind of style that is. It was sprite based kind of. I don't know. It was a lot different, but they did fully realize them very well. This game does a very good job of introducing characters that you already know that you've already played most of the time and characters that are from other series very well they have their little spotlight you they they get enough time that you actually you know realize that they're in this story the one thing that i was not a big fan of though is some of the characters that i wanted to play as i couldn't until later in this story and i kind of want to i kind of wish that was a little different i wish you had choice of that over more of the story and, and it is with all trails games that i've played and i've played 10 of them now there's so much loot to go around so you're not going to have an issue with that and as far as i don't know why i'm thinking of this with loot the game is not that hard right i know you can put it on like the merciless settings and stuff like that i don't really like doing that the game is not very hard which i actually like it, it's very st story-based game I, I like when they kind of leave it uh, very simple like that. And another thing is that the game really doesn't take itself too serious. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a, like a sitcom or something like that. It doesn't take itself too seriously, which I really appreciate. Now, the next one are both pros and cons. And that is the Orbiment system uh, can be amazing. However, sometimes you feel like you need a college degree or a master's <laughs> to figure out what exactly it is that you need to use. Now in this game, and that might've been in, in Cold Steel too, I don't remember. You can actually put it on like auto pick so you don't actually have to really think about it. You can just have the a computer do it for you. I did that a few times, but then towards the end, you're going to start getting some really specialized ornaments, and that is when I started uh, taking over myself. And the other thing that is both a pro and a con is the game is extremely cheesy, and sometimes it's a little too much. It's like, ugh, I don't know, man. I, I think you needed to, to, you know, add a little bit more than that. So that is my pros for the game. My cons, and these are huge cons 
huge cons. These are actually the, I bought this game in August of last year. I hated it. I'm like, I don't even like this game at all. I did not pick this game up again until about two weeks ago. And then I played the, it the, all the way through and I beat it. I'm like, I paid for this game. I own this game. I played all the other games in this series. I may as well just ride with this game and I'm going to do it. I started getting into it. However, the game has identity issues. I, like it's, it has an identity crisis. It doesn't know if it's a visual novel, a simulation, or a role playing game. Yeah. It's it's somewhere in between those, and part of that is they talk way too much. There is way, way, way too much dialogue for my taste. Now, if you go back to the Sky series, there's not as much dialogue. I don't remember being anywhere near this much. Azure and Tri uh, Zero were pretty similar. When they got to Cold Steel, though, who? They added so much dialogue that did not need to be there. And they almost multiplied that in this game. So if they're, if you're one of these people that just butt mashes when people are talking, uh, I don't know if this game is going to be for you. And kind of a lot. The, the, con, uh, the cons are actually kind of all the same thing. And because there is so much talking, the game drags way too much in certain spots. And with all Japanese games, the final... I don't know, eighth of the game, I don't know, the final certain amount of the game drags way too much. By the time you get to the final, 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 final boss, you're like, I'm so done with this already. Like, I just wanted this game to be done at X point. So there is that. Now, it's nowhere near as bad as Azure. That final castle dungeon whatever you want to call it i was so angry by the time i finally beat that game the game is so good and then they just drag that ending out way too much way too much the ending of this one is definitely better than that but it is uh, it's annoying and there was another part that is kind of a pro and con there is this thing with mirrors I'm not going to really say anything beyond that because it's, it's kind of like a you know part of the story. That did not need to be there at all in my mind. That that part, that whole part of the, the game did not need to exist. It was just way too much extra for no reason whatsoever. It didn't tie the story together. It didn't add to the story. It subtracted from the story in my mind. So I really, if I, if I was editing this game, like if it was a movie and I had it on... Premiere Pro over here, and I could cut some of this this out. I would definitely cut that out. Uh, it, you know, the the Revere Corridor, uh, the whole thing with just I would get rid of it. Now I'm sure there's some people who are really into that sort of thing, into the lore, into getting all the extras and all the kind of stuff. Hundred percent in games. That's not my thing. That, then you're probably like, what? What is he even talking about? But if you're somebody who really just is like over it, like with, with kind of stuff, like I like Final Fantasy 1 for the point of there's no side quest, there's no any, it's just a story, you live the story and then, you know, the game is over. That is what I like. So a lot of these extra things, if you're like me and you don't really like that, if you're somebody who doesn't really read novels because it, people take too many words to describe something, kind of like I do in my videos sometimes, then I don't know. This video or this game might not be for you. The last thing I will say, though, is when I was in video game school, when I was learning how to make video games, which I don't work in the industry, but I, you know, I, I had a lot of contact with the, the people who were. One of the things that they would give you a negative grade for is if you had if you had built like a building or a, a truck or something like that and it was perfect, right? These people are in a, a war and somehow all of their machines, all of the buildings, all of the cars, all of the trucks, all of the people, there's no dirt on anybody's uniform. There's no dirt on any of the trucks. The trucks are immaculate. There's no nicks, dents, anything in these trucks. There's no nicks or dents or of any kind in any of the buildings, any of the, anything. There's nothing that has any kind of wear and tear on it. And every single one of their games is like that, that I've played in this trail series. And it's always driven me nuts because that is one of the things that they would knock you for 
when I was going to school for this is like, why is there no, these things are not used. They're like, they, everything came off an assembly line somewhere and was never used. So that is my thoughts. It's not really a review. It's my thoughts of the game. If I did a review, I would do a lot more about the story. The story was good. The story needed to be edited a bit. And this game definitely had a lot of bloat. I didn't really do any side quests. I don't even know if there was side quests, if there was. I played all, well, the 10 of the Trails of series now. So I, want, I wanted to go over that. I did make a review of all the nine that I've played up to now. That was like a couple years ago. I really didn't like it, so I took it down. If you want something like that, let me know down in the comment section if you want me to go over it. I would have to kind of review it in my you know, go over notes and stuff like that, but I definitely can make that video again. One thing that I'm going to break down what the the, this, uh, the games in the series are, so it's Trails of the Sky, Trails of the Sky SC, Trails of the Sky 3rd, Trails from Zero, Trails to the Azure, and Trail Trails of Cold Steel 1 through 4. Okay, so those are the games that I've played. I would really recommend that you play those before getting into this. That's it. Comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.